Our special guest on today's THV at 630, Congressman Tim Griffin from the 2nd Congressional District. We sure appreciate you coming in. Thanks so much Thank for being you. here. Thanks for being here. And Congressman, uh, other than uh, the raising of the debt ceiling, the $14.3 trillion deficit, Libya, Afghanistan, the Arab Spring, federal trade agreements, and Republican race for president, we really don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> Can I start with the last one and go backwards? <laughs> Let's We're going to get to it. Just kidding, just kidding. Why don't we start with the most pressing issue, the raising of the debt ceiling. First, why don't we talk about maybe the biggest area of agreement on this? Uh, I think that there is uh, general agreement on the fact that we're going to have to reduce spending uh, somewhere. I think that there's uh, a lot of disagreement on the amount that we'll have to reduce spending. Um, there, certainly a lot of us believe, including myself, that the problem is a spending problem. Uh, at the root of that is a discipline problem. Uh, politicians have uh, told the American people that they can have whatever they want, regardless of the cost. That's what you as mean by they discipline want. problem? Well, politicians have, they believed over time that they could just keep spending money and it would help them get votes and help them stay elected. The problem with that is we ran out of money mm -hmm. a long time ago. And uh, I believe, if you look at the data, that we have a spending problem. We do not have a tax problem. If you look over the last few decades, our revenue uh, as a percentage of the, of the uh, economy is around 18% on average. It's the spending that has skyrocketed. And uh, I believe that uh, that's where we've got to focus our efforts. Uh, there's some disagreement on that. Uh, some folks on the other side want to raise taxes. And uh, you, can, you can look at the data, and there is no way, because of the, the, the slope of the spending curve, there is no way that you're going to tax your way out of this. This is, uh, this is a spending problem. The other problem with, with ta raising taxes is uh, raising taxes is not something you want to do uh, if you want to encourage economic growth. And you don't have to, we don't have to guess about this. There's a lot of countries that have dealt with this issue, uh, and particularly in Europe. And you can look at what has worked and what hasn't. The ones that have focused on cutting spending have been successful. The ones that have focused on raising taxes have failed. Now, in 2006, President Obama as a senator said that raising the debt ceiling is a sign of poor leadership in reference to President Bush. However, sure. your icon, your godfather, President Reagan, it was raised 18 times when he was president. Sure. So what are we seeing here? A game of chicken in Washington? We have, uh, if you look at the amount of debt that we have had over the decades as a percentage of the economy, where we are now is a completely different place than where we were decades ago. Where we are now uh, is about 100% of our, the equivalent to about 100% of our economy in terms of the debt that we have. The debt that we had uh, 30 years ago pales in comparison. It's the difference between having a little good debt, like a mortgage on your house, and then having 20 cards and you're transferring balances every month. Are they all debt? Yes. Yes. But some of it's good debt and some of it is bad debt. Hmm. And so you can't just say, debt is debt. It depends on how much it is. It depends on who we owe it to. Uh, you know, we owe about half of, uh, about half of our debt is held by foreign countries. All right, uh, Representative Tim Griffin, we're going to have more with you in just a moment. We hope you'll stay with us. Weather is next, and when we come back, we're going to talk Libya and some other topics with the Congressman. Stay tuned.